also about clean water. Okay. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll do that. This one. Chop you up here. Yeah. Am I going to be close to her? Yeah, and you, and you got to really tone that down a little bit and, and get your voice up. Let's see. We got another break about 10 hills. We'll need to test. Extend that out toward her mouth. And we, we need to hit the anybody yeah. calling in. We've got one so far. We hit it again. So you come yes, back sir. and uh, we will. Uh, I'm glad he mentioned it because I never knew the call letters for regular radio. WCRR. Car Rebel Radio. Yeah. Car Rebel Radio. I knew about Dr. Welch, of course, because he had told me about that himself. When we first met, I told him about So that explains Carl's connection to the radio coast. He was have you lost a load? He can help sorting through their estate. I have the expertise to help you handle some slides just coming your way. Every so space when he got into radio, he had to do work for you. Okay. And, so then, and all those yeah. guys were in the Turn airport. Here we go. 872 0121. Hey, Scott and Lisa back. It's uh, it's Friday morning. You're in the 9 o'clock hour. We hope you're enjoying our show today. We're here every Friday on 94.3 Corinth Superdog. We want to remind everybody that we still want, in the next few minutes, we're going to give away that ultimate shape of D Shake Shack in, in Counts, Tennessee. And Lisa, they should text. You should text your name and the words good stuff to 662-331-2457. 662-331-2457. Be sure to include your name so we'll know who to give this gift card to. You'll win an ultimate shake from T Shake Shop in Counts, Tennessee. And, and the drawing's coming up pretty soon, isn't it? It is. We also want to encourage you to, to go by and visit our friends at Russell Smith Steakhouse in busy downtown Corinth. There's some good eating over there. and. You can't go wrong with Russell Smith. Lisa, earlier with, with Sam, we were talking about old time radio, which is, as far as we know, we're the only show in the area who's, who's doing live music. Yes. And speaking of live music, somebody just joined us and she's pretty alive. Isn't she's she, Lisa? pretty alive. She's pretty wound up. I tell you what. My friend she's... Sue Smith from Mickey, Tennessee. Good morning, Sue. Thank you for having me. I'm just so. Psyched up here to be here. This is, this is fun. <laughs> Sue, Sue is a good friend of ours. Sue is deeply involved in the Thursday night uh, picking that they have on the courthouse square. Uh, you do the uh, Facebook page for them. You've had us up to your home studio in uh, in Mickey, and uh, he's had the Lisa Lambert band up there a couple of times. Thank you, Sue, for doing that. Thank and you for being there. Yeah, and we're trying to have a musical guest this week. And, and what is Lisa and Sue? What have you cooked up for your first song? I think I want to try the old Brush Arbor days. It's kind of an old song since you were talking about old time radio. That one's one of the first ones that came to mind. And I don't claim to be a singer, so I'm, but it, it, I it, enjoy it, playing it. And, uh, it's a, here's Miss Sue Smith with, with the old Brush Arbor. <laughs> Oh, 
Sue Smith playing her accordion. Sue, how long have you been playing the accordion? Well, I, I first picked it up when I was probably six or seven. It was supposed to have been my sister's instrument, and Dad gave her lessons, and she'd go take her lessons and come home, and I'd pick it up and try to do what she did. And over the years, I just uh, kept with it, and pretty much it's a God-given talent because I really haven't had any formal lessons. Yeah, so. now, uh, that had to be a lot smaller accordion than what you got. Uh, she now. started out with a small 12 bass, which she got for her learning, and then Dad got her up, one even bigger than this one that was the 120 bass. Wow. And uh, like I said, it was pretty much bigger than I was. But, <laughs> and then over the years, like I said, my sister had it, and when I'd come home on vacation, when after we moved away, I'd get it out of the closet and I'd sit and play it and mom finally said, you're the only one that plays it, take it home with you. <laughs> so, so we got time for one more song before our next break and I think you're going to do Argon Meal. Oh yeah. What key is that in? A. It's in A as well. Uh, some people call it Weave and Spin. Here's, uh, here's our buddy from Mickey Sue Smith. Our I want to give this out to, to our friend Nolan. Like I said, Nolan it sings this better than anybody I know and I, I don't try to think that I'm you bet. out really doing it. You bet.
Choose one of our best paths. We're going to go to B, and we're going to It's My Lazy Day, and tell people why it'd be good to clean up. I really, really like it because I can do it well in me. <laughs> you do that shape when we come right back. Do we have a winner? Right there. Yeah. Let me see where it went. Okay, very good. And I might even mention who we got coming up in our in our show. I'm excited that the president of Northeast said yes. You, you can announce our, our jam session to us on the August 28th. Somebody said it's playing music on the porch all day long, and Wayne Jules has decided to uh, go along with it and just have a free for all jam down on the river. I'll do it. So anybody that plays music or loves music can come down and uh, be with us. It's down on the riverside of the, of the dam there, about a, he said about a quarter mile down from the dam along the river. Very informal, just... They were now saying Al Gore. Just kill me. They just kill me. Uh, you hadn't set a date for four yet, have you? Oh, no. No, no. Soon, we will, as soon as we work it out. It'll be about a month from now. We're looking at maybe August 27th or September 3rd. That sounds good. Yeah. I'm going to next who we got coming up. Yeah. That's wonderful to have in here. Oh, absolutely. And getting right before school starts. <coughs> that's, that's, that's what I was thinking. All the better. Hey, Scott and Lisa back. It's the weekend radio show every Friday morning from 9 to 10-ish uh, on 94.3 Current Super Talk. We've had a great show today. We had Sergeant Brian McGee came by. Sam Kemp told us some war stories about the old-time radio. And we're doing it old-time, aren't we, Lisa? We are. And our good, our good friend Sue Smith is here with us with her accordion, and she sang a, a couple of songs for us. And uh, we want to remind everybody... Uh, uh, thank you so much for texting in for the ultimate shake. And we have a winner. We yes, have a winner. We do. do we have a drum roll? That's <laughs> this, week, have a drum. this week's winner is Missy Rickman. Missy Rickman. And uh, Missy will be contacting you shortly after the show about how, how to get your gift card for the ultimate shake. And Sue, she's really going to enjoy Have you had an ultimate oh, shake? Oh, I had one. I shared it with my grandson. And man, that. That is a shake and a half. It's good stuff, isn't it? <laughs> so thank you, T Shake Shack, for being one of our sponsors and, and for giving one away each and every week. It's always a fun part of the show, isn't it, it Lisa? Is. It we is. want to talk about who we got coming up. Uh, we got just a few more minutes. Hey, Lisa, next week on July the 30th, Mr. Blake Wally's going to be here. He's the assistant city manager at Savannah, Tennessee, but he's also a guitar picker. He is. And he's going to be here with us on Friday, August 6th. We're excited that Chris Dunn, who's the instructor of commercial music and the director of Campus Country at Northeast, is going to be here. He's a picker as well, and he might even bring somebody with him. On Friday, August the 13th, my birthday, Clayton Stanley, the president of the Alliance, is going to be here. And uh, Bruce Harville is going to be our musical guest that day and plays banjo. On, on Friday, August the 20th, Whitney Worsham, the uh, director of the Crossroads Museum is going to be here, and many, 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 many others uh, in the future that we will announce really soon. Lisa, this this last song, or m maybe next to last song, is called "It's My Lazy Day." Now you've got a story about that. I do. This is a song my grandfather used to sing to me when we would go down to his parents' place, and they would have a little picnic there, and he would sing that song. The mile down to uh, the back of the property to Bear Creek, and all the way down there, he would be singing this tune. And uh, so, so it's my lazy day in the key of B. Yes. Are we ready? Yeah. All right. Here's Lisa. Oh, my God. 
That's the beautiful Lisa Lambert singing uh -huh. It's My Lazy Day and What a Band. What a band. What a band. Sue Speaking Smith, of a band. Sue Smith on the accordion and, and uh, Scott Nunley on the harmonica. It was incredible. Lisa, yes. you got an announcement Speaking tonight? of bands, uh, August the 28th, Saturday, August the 28th, is Worldwide Play Music on the Porch Day. On your front porch. On your front porch. Or right porch. It doesn't matter. Any porch. Your neighbor's porch. It doesn't matter where you where you do. Just stop what you're doing. Take a deep breath. If, even if you don't play music, go join somebody on the porch. Y'all sing a song. Whatever. Just just take a few minutes. Y'all. Y'all. She's had too much. Life. She's had too much coffee this morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. This, and uh, Wayne Geralds is going to be kind of hosting a jam down on the Tennessee River. Pickwick State Park, is that correct? Right. Across right. the river from the from the state park. Oh, there. across the river. Yeah, we're going to be on that beat. Down from the dam. That little inlet? Where, where the river is. No, oh, we're going to okay. be on the, okay. the northeast Camp side right there. The there. campground. Okay. The camp, near the campground. Okay, all right. Where we, where we go fishing? Just jamming under something. the trees. Just turn down that little road after you pass the uh, outpost there when you have lunch there. Right. And just follow that little road around and you'll see uh, the pickers or down there. Or take your first lift after you cross the dam. If you're right. If, you come, if you're coming from that's the... That's right. Yes. And that's Cal Saturday, side. August the 28th. Start at 10 in the morning going until everybody gets tired. You, you know, a couple of years back, Sue, Lisa and I had the opportunity to go to the uh, almost coastal town over in Alabama of Bruton, Alabama. And every year they have what's called the Front Porch Music Festival. They do. And everybody in town hires a band uh, to play on their front porch. And people in the community walk around and listen to the bands. And they bring their lawn chairs and sit and stop. Hey, before we get that out was of here great, today, wasn't it? I want to wish a happy birthday to Joan Hendricks. Oh, Joan yeah. Hendricks, happy birthday, happy dear. Happy birthday, Joan. Uh, we hope uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Will. And Patricia are listening to us. We hope we... And say hi to y'all and uh, y'all have a great well, week. Yeah, she had birthday yesterday, Patricia. Did. It's almost yeah. time for us to get out of here. Right? It, it is. is. We've got a couple more minutes left, and and uh, we want to remind everybody that, that that on Friday, August the sixth, Friday, August the sixth, the Lisa Lambert band will be live and in person at the Iuka Opry. Yeah, now, that'd if be never, fun. If you've never been to the Iuka Opry, they have shows over there the first and third. Friday of each month. It starts about seven o'clock. It's clean and decent. It's a nice place, uh, and they even have snacks for you if you come to the show. And we'll be there. Uh, that's They're working what, on some new songs. We 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 got several new songs that uh, Lisa and Nolan and Rick and I have been working on. We're excited and about. And you'll be able to see whether we need more work or not. <laughs> yes, and we'll. So y'all come here. They're going to come over tomorrow. We're going to practice and try to polish uh, polish those songs. Well, well let's play us out of here, you to you two gals. Okay. Y'all, thank you for listening. See you next week. You've given us an hour of your time, and, and, and God bless you all. We love you. Continue. It's a lazy day. And give me. Bye, y'all. Sure, what we got on this thing, if we got anything at all, but we just uh, had a jam packed show, didn't we, Phil?